What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to withdraw from BBS without paying stupid ridiculous fees on Ethereum, right? First of all, you go to Google, you download the Wombat wallet, you just type um, Wombat wallet in by Google and it's going to be the first option, wombat.io, get wombat.io and then basically you install the Chrome extension on your desktop and it's going to pop up. You create an account. I think it only uses characters, no numbers and no special characters. So mine's just my name. And then basically it's going to ask you to save your, your key to your Google Drive. So do that as well. And then once your wallet's installed, make sure you pin it over here at the top so that you can connect your wallet to sites, right? So the wallet has now been installed. Then what you want to do is click on wallet. You're going to scroll down and manage tokens, click manage tokens. You're going to search BBS and you're going to add BBS to your wallet, right? And it should pop up over there. And now we go over to BBS.market. We come over here and basically whatever amount of BBS you would like to withdraw, you're going to click withdrawal over here. You're going to right click on this option that says DeFi box and you're going to open it in a new tab and this will pop up, right? So your Wombat has been installed, which is the wallet. It's an EOS wallet. And then basically you're going to connect your wallet to um, DeFi box, right? So as you can see, my wallet is over here. That's my name. Like I said, there we go. My wallet's connected. And then over here by withdrawal, you're not going to choose Ethereum because I mean, that is literally stupid, stupid, stupid expensive, right? To pay that much BBS just for withdrawal. So I think with EOS, it's free to withdraw, but there is going to be one small charge that you need to do. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys, right? So then what you do now is you're going to go over back to your Wombat and then you're going to copy your wallet address. So basically my wallet address is over here. It says Justin Davids, right? I'm just going to type it in because I know what it is. And by the memo, make sure that you're copying it or you're typing it in properly because obviously this is the exact address you're going to be sending the funds to. So over here by the memo this one doesn't need a memo but on bbs you need a memo in order to withdraw so i'm just going to retype in the same um, thing as the memo and then withdrawal is going to pop up right then you can withdraw your funds to your your wombat wallet so it's going to come up over here it's going to pop up on your bbs token so whatever bbs you had on bbs markets is going to be in your eos wallet right over here right so say you had 30 BBS when I had 900, right? So that BBS I had over here, it popped up in my wallet. And now what I want to do is I want to trade my BBS for EOS token because that's the, the, the native chains token. So we're going to go to swap and this is going to pop up. Or you don't need to go to swap. I apologize. You can go to DeFi box, right? And this, once your wallet is connected over here, you click on swap. And this is where you're going to click your balance. You just click on your balance. Let's swap that around. You click on your balance and you can swap it to, I can actually do this on here maybe. Oh no, let me not say, let me not use my EOS. So basically you're going to swap your whatever amount of BBS you have, right? Into EOS. You click swap. It's going to confirm the transaction and then boom. In your wallet, you now have EOS. You no longer have BBS token. You have the EOS token, which is good. That's exactly what you need, right? The next, uh, the next step is to go over to blocks.io because in order to withdraw your EOS from your EOS wallet, you need to buy RAM. I'm not exactly sure how the EOS chain works, but this is a step you have to take in order to do so. Um, over here as well, you go to wallet, you connect your wallet to here. My wallet's already connected. As you can see, this is Justin David's. And then you need to buy RAM, right? You go click buy RAM. Now I had, um, I think I had 30 EOS, right? So I just bought 0 0.5 RAM. So whatever amount you'd like to buy, you buy over here. I think the minimum is 0 0.1, but to be safe, buy 0 0.2 worth of RAM. And then basically that's gonna load onto here. So it's gonna take some of your EOS. So I had 30 and I bought 0 0.5. So I then had 20. 9.5 EOS left, right? So make sure you buy RAM because you won't be able to withdraw your EOS unless you buy RAM. So I bought the RAM and now the remainder of the EOS, 
I can now withdraw to any exchange. So the EOS will be here in your wallet and you can send this to any exchange. So basically you can send it to Binance, to KuCoin, to wherever you'd like to send it. And then you can swap it for USDT or whichever token you'd like to swap it for. But guys, that's the quick and easy way to basically get your BBS and to transfer it to an exchange and to basically pay the lowest fees possible because with EOS, there's no transaction costs. The only cost is this RAM cost that you need to do on blocks.io. Just gonna spell that out for you guys, blocks.io. Make sure you are going to blocks.io guys, right? And then connecting your wallet. So this is the homepage, you go to wallet, you connect your wallet or you can connect your wallet at the top over here, right? Then come down to this section, make sure you're buying the RAM and then boom, the RAM will be loaded. Guys, please smash the like, please subscribe to the channel. I literally drop gems almost every day, guys. Um, I do, I show you guys how to get free crypto, all the crypto airdrops that you can do and also the crypto competitions. I, I update you guys on what competitions are going out there. So also guys, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it as we are trying to grow to our first thousand subscribers. Let's go. This is not financial advice, it's only my opinion and it's for educational purposes only.